What's up? Welcome to a really quick Webflow tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to have a placeholder image by default for collection items. Super easy, and I've always done this the wrong way, so I'm hoping that showing you the right way will make things a little easier on you. So here we have a staff page, and we've got our items built out here. So we've got an image, name, role, and an email address. So the way that I would normally do this is I would go in, because this is a part of a collection here, so I would go into each item and using the settings, I would link in the headshot. I link in the name, link in the role, job title, and then link in the email as well. Okay, so it looks good, but it looks like someone is missing a headshot. And so this is important because if you're passing off a website to a client, you wanna make sure that it works even if they don't have all the pieces ready. So if they need to add someone to the team page, but they don't have a headshot in place, we need to account for that. So the way that I would have done this is in my, in my item over here on the left in the navigator, I would have replicated or duplicated this image, and then I would have done some conditional visibility. So if headshot is set, we're gonna show the one that has the picture, and then the other one would be if headshot is not set. And then on this one, instead of doing a dynamic headshot, we would just do our placeholder image. There we go. So this is fine, but what if you have something to where it comes to where you're having multiple different images or multiple items um, that need to have placeholders? Well, there's actually just a much easier way to do this in general. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna delete this whole staff item. Um, and within each of the collection items, I've created this as a component. So within my component, I have my image set by default. I have this connected to a property setting or to a property. And in the property settings, we have our default image. So you see, I could replace this with any other image and that's going to be the default. So now, because I have each of these items, the image, the name, the role, and the email connected to properties within my component, what I can do is I can use this little purple plus to connect these two properties within my collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna add headshot, name, job title. We will do the email link and the email. And you'll notice that I actually still have an image set here, even though the property is connected to my headshot field within my collection. And this is because with Webflow components, it's going to default back to whatever the base is if you're using it within a collection list, if it hasn't been defined. So in this case, I now have something to where if for some reason a new staff member is added or one already exists without a headshot, within my component, I have defined what my default should be. And maybe for you, this could be something different. Maybe it's uh, an image that's a logo of the, the company or something, it doesn't matter. But you can define that within a component and then by adding the component into your collection and linking the fields of your collection, you can create an easy default um, that you don't have to worry about adding conditional visibility for. So really simple, really quick tutorial, but this is something I came across recently that I thought was super helpful and wanted to share. Hopefully making more videos like this, it's been a long time, so be on the lookout. I'm gonna try to pump some out soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.